All right, you guys, today we're so excited because we have this month's guest. Give it up for Candace Kane. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi, Gorge. How are you? Legendary. I'm so good. Showgirl. Actress. Icon. Activist. <laughs> gardener. <laughs> I mean, I'm like learning you new. You're like an onion. You have so many layers. 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 Many, many layers. True. I'm like, would I miss anything? Gosh. Definitely. Just like magician. The <laughs> You've done magician. it all. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, Violet Trotsky. And me, Got Mick. And you're watching an extra special episode of No, no Gorge. Gorge. <laughs> so I think legend, I think, <clears throat> sums you up perfectly. Like you're when I think of a legend, I think of you. Oh my god. Thank There's you. like a what is that That's called? So There's like a allure around you in the community, in the entertainment space. And you have a reputation, like a very fierce one. Oh, yes. Yay. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, no, it's insane. I remember, like, when I first started transitioning and, like, even exploring the idea of that, just, like, you Google trans icons and you come up, like, literally on Google. So even Google says so. <laughs> it's not really our opinion. Google's it's, always right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the internet told us that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> your career and your history and, like, when you started transitioning, you were truly the trailblazer and you had to stand your ground so much. Like, I just want to dive into all of that with you today. <laughs> okay. Like, I've, like, watched interviews of you and, like, we're, we've hung out before and like we've you've told me so many crazy stories and i just we have to this day like me and violet are going out in the industry and having trouble like with pushback about transitioning and drag and gayness and just all of it across the board so i can't even imagine like yeah it kind of feels like there's a, a weird backlash right now yes and it, we were going up and going up and things were opening up and then all of a sudden it's like you know, suddenly people are scared to put trans and drag content on because of middle American fallback or Absolutely. fallout. We were doing, we were, we were on a really nice trajectory there and it was, yeah. it felt, it was so nice. It was so, it was nice, so right? nice there for a minute. And then I think maybe social media, I don't know what got them buzzing, I don't know but it was outrage. It was, it was, it was outrageous. Outrage. We were outrageous. Yes. And drag bands and, you know, drag book reading suddenly became a, you know, a hot topic, a hot topic yeah. with with yeah, it's well, it's been crazy. You want our opinion on that? I don't know how to read. <laughs> well, the Books. good, the good thing is yeah. that drag queens and drag artists have dealt with this kind of diversity since the very beginning, and now the community has to fight again. Again, because for there was a while where it was real cushy. Yeah, and we the got trajectory too we got yeah, too right. comfortable. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I grew up in Atlanta in the drag space. And a lot of the drag in the South is very pageant oriented. Mm -hmm. So when I first started hearing about you, it was because you were Miss Continental. Oh, yes. L ladies and gentlemen, your new rainy Miss Continental, Candace Kane. <laughs> Take a bow, Candace. What year did you win Continental? 2001. Oh my! Or, that's a fact. I want to see what the gowns were looking like in 2001. Oh I won it, and a week later, the World Trade Center came down. Uh, well, and I was like, or no? "Son of a bitch!" <laughs> <laughs> so you think those are related? Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, they've been trying to get oh, me. Been, the, they have been the setting you up it. since the start. Start. Sabotage. <laughs> you know, it's a no. cutthroat industry. It really is. My goodness. Oh no, my but God. drag, I mean, you come from that world. Am I, is that correct in saying yeah. that? Well, I came from New York City, one woman show world where I, you know, if you were to make it in New York City back then, you had to be diverse enough where you had to like talk on stage, talk on the mic, it's you know, so create a show, have a full hour show that you would pedal to different club owners and like you do three shows a week where it would be just you on stage you know so and there's like 
a mix involved and they're talking they go hit it and then the song starts hit and it. The song starts. I love a hit so it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. I love a talk that is it. such a New York thing it's, yeah, it's interesting that. how drag is regional like that yeah and it really is from where I'm from it's like uh uh cavalcade uh, uh, there's uh, uh, one we do outfit host. changes there's outfit one changes. host we yes. do a rotation and that's the show yes don't, it, don't. We're not, do you don't you don't talk not about everyone's a star exactly. sweetheart exactly <laughs> please I'm a star and they, and, they said that, and, get off. Yeah. and they let me know that they were like mm, you get $35 and two drink tickets oh and you get God. to do your little burlesque yeah they <laughs> let me know that's totally. raised by wolves raised by wolves that's what I say at hotmail.com yes all the Atlanta bitches yeah if you but, wanted to make it in the city you had to do that and this is so if you won in 2001 Constantine, right. so you're building this we're talking early 90s so I moved to New York City in 91 oh. and 93 I was doing wig stock for the first time with yeah. Bunny with Bunny yeah. 93 that was like Lady Miss Kier we're yeah, talking Kier like Kier was there iconic Rue, Rue when Supermodel had just come oh out my oh god. my god this is Candace Kane and how's wig stock going for you so far wig stock is great it's been long I've done a few different things but and one more to go so yes. were you guys all the parties were crazy yeah <laughs> I mean were you like was, club kidding it up at this time yeah, yes tunnel and tunnel to limelight to uh, like to Palladium, to the Palladium. really small bars during the week, like Sugar Babies and Salon and Beige. And like every night was a fierce party. That's you had to dress. The fierce time of life. life. What do you mean? That's like New York City in the 90s glamour. was it's everything. I mean, imagine yeah. partying in a fucking cathedral. Yeah. Well, I can't handle it. <laughs> like it's your wet it. fantasy dream. No, truly. My like mom being in a K hole in a cathedral my, with oh, lights is like, no, no, no. Fucking... everyone would be like, is got me okay? And be like, he just does that. <laughs> I mean, you've lived such a, I'm just gagging. So I'm like, what were the club kid days like? And oh what was God. like, did you ever see like, what was Rue like and Bunny and Lady Kier and like, Rue just... when I first like was like in Wigstock and all that, Rue had just released Supermodel. So she was already just about to tour the world it was all it was like right happening. there it was just happening bunny cure all of them were you know just we all did lip sync lip -sync we would all go out to see each other to see what was going on the next day or the next week so you couldn't like i mean nobody had home phones yeah, or, i mean we had home phones you know, would like you smoke know, like yeah. smoke like, didn't care but no you would have like a, a a bar a club it was like your home yeah and so like the, the new girls were like lena lena uh, diva yeah me Sh shasta cola aphrodite mistress for micah oh, sherry vine micah. sherry uh, vine yes and we would we would we you know we, we were the girls that is Love so that. you <laughs> and lena are like my favorite i know together. i know it's so amazing i think when i like first got on drag race i like Lena was just so helpful to me. She just like took me in and just was the most positive uh, ray of light ever. Amazing. And then seeing you guys and just like researching you guys and watching you guys' shows and performances together, I was like, that's what I want. So I bad. know. We're yeah. trying to so, recreate yeah, what you and Lena have. Like, I'm like, you have to oh get God, the move. It's like got, this. No, like, it's you're truly, doing it wrong. Truly. Do it how Lena would do it. Truly, truly, I really. probably traumatized you. <laughs> so, oh, oh, you oh, definitely like, did. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, oh, my yeah. God. Well, oh my it was God, a yeah, traumatic for, experience. For everyone that doesn't know, Candace choreographed on Violet Season. Well, also, if you don't know, Candace is like a dancing diva. Like, like um, known in the industry as like a you're actually, dancer. You're actually one of the, like the rare people I know that you're like truly so beyond talented at every single thing you do. You know, oh and it's God. like you're like people are trying it and stretching it too thin. It's like just stick to dancing, girl, or like whatever. Right. It's like you truly like when you act, it's amazing. Like dance, it's Thank amazing. You. Like truly every. Yeah, that's why I don't have an album out because oh, I know yeah. that <laughs> I just carry so a tune, but I am not like a singer singer. Well, so, well, you yeah. mean, do you, like, do you want to be on mine? Yes, yes. Oh, my God. I, I have a little metal album. You want to scream oh, on it? Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> I, I love, love you're doing a metal album uh -huh. featuring Candice Kane. Oh my God! Yeah, it makes so much sense. <laughs> gardening, <laughs> gardening, metal, metal. album. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a new gardening show I coming do. out. It is so. It's actually on the Advocate channel. We have six episodes out of 10 already. Amazing. Weekly on Fridays, Advocate channel. And it's Candace Kane's Secret Garden. I love a secret garden. A secret garden. Shh. Have you always been a gardener? I have always been 
into plants and like, you know, gardening and from Maui and horticulture and all that kind of stuff. But when the pandemic hit, I had this kind of empty yard and I really wanted to make it beautiful. And I had nowhere to do, nothing to do, nowhere to go. I like we all right. did. So I started creating a garden and I started getting obsessed with collecting different uh, species of aloe. There's like That's so specific. Aloe. Yeah. There's like 700 vera, species. Like yeah, there's 700 species of aloe. And I have like 160 now I've collected of all different sizes, big shapes, trees. I, it's it's a pretty big garden. Oh I, I live in I Pasadena. So it's not so like secret. I live out there. <laughs> um, so, and, and one day it was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. I want to do a show about it. So um, my writing partner, Dana Davis, best friend, sister, we started a production company called Mary. It's Mary Productions. Oh my God, We're, I yeah, love that. A businesswoman. A business, yeah. well, trying, you know. Aren't we all? Are we all trying? <laughs> So we, uh, so we, we found somebody to produce it, and we found uh, Jacqueline Chesson, who's an amazing filmmaker, and they're two ladies, two trans women, and and we created the show, and now it's airing, and it's I'm super excited about it. Our our premise is like Martha Stewart meets Pee Wee's Playhouse. Because um, I have a that sounds amazing. <laughs> I have a cast of magical creatures. I have Mustafa, the Middle Eastern merman that lives in my pool. I have succulents. Are they, the queen? Are they imaginary or animated? Man, they're they're actors that we hired, so they're like in what? around like oh while my I'm doing. God. This yeah. sounds incredible. It's Are really you kidding amazing. me? <laughs> it's really fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I could learn something and yeah. be entertained. Exactly. I mean, literally. Yeah, that's, that's what so we're exciting. doing. So it's so fun. No, I, I want to watch the show because I have this the front yard. It, it's kind of intimidating me. It needs some TLC well, for sure. Well, season two, you guys are going to have to be on it. Oh my oh, God. Oh, yes. Because I, I started oh, to please. dabble in special guests, but it just happened. We filmed it in three weeks and. Well, We've been Let's working on nursery, it. So, honey. hello. And I do makeovers in it. I oh, want. you so, can make over your garden. So, I will hopefully, if we start yes. season two in time, I will do your garden. Your honey, front, I'm not touching front, my yeah, garden. Not until doing you it. give me the green yeah. light, honey. What is the queer trans lineage like in Maui? There weren't really words for, there weren't words for trans. So, I oh. knew I was supposed to be a girl, but I just was myself. Everyone, told me I was a girl. Oh, right. you one boy or one girl? Right. You know, that was like what I got from 40-year-old men walking up to me at seven. Like, are you a boy or a girl? Right. Like, ew. Which really makes you think about your existence, your sexuality, yes. Mm -hmm. But, and if you're trans, your gender. And so suddenly when you're seven or 10 or whatever, when most kids are on the schoolyard and like, you know, whatever, playing a game, being normal. Being normal. Unquote. We're thinking about these deep things. Perceptions. Which and allows us as humans to be years beyond evolved. our age, evolved, you know. Yeah. And That's... so, yes, I knew when I was young, I knew I got harassed. I knew it was really difficult. But when I left Maui and I came back, I felt the, I felt like I was a, a, an island girl. Right. And I understood the aloha more and now you can't take that away from me you know when right. i left i wanted to get out i was 18 i Angsty, just graduated um, high school and i was getting I'm out going to going to new, new york, york city, city. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be no, a sugar girl, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so and then after i guess the whirlwind of being miss continental you were like actress I was. I was trying. There were no trans roles. Um, it was only, you know, drag roles occasionally. And so my audition process would be going to these auditions with queens and, you know, tr trying to convince them that a trans woman would be better for the role. Oh my God. You've and been you did. I did a lot. You did? Yeah. What was your wow. first role? That you got. That my was first like... big role was CSI. Oh, my God. where they flew That's me. So major. It was like a Britney Spears kind of takeoff where she was a performer and it was supposed to be a drag queen. And I was like, it's better. And I went in and I did a full dance number for them. Yes. Like, That's how you got the gig. That's how I got the yes. gig. Yes. <laughs> it, was, it was so fierce. And then they flew me to 
to LA and I got the bug. I was just like, oh my God. But I didn't have an agent. I didn't have a manager. I did this all on my own, you know? I did that and then I auditioned for Dirty Sexy. And it was like, once that happened, it, everything was different, you know? So like it was saying like, it. Yeah. it was but you're just like the kind first of, one. Yeah. Like, I'm well, just I mean, saying you are. Well, I, I don't know I'm the facts. I'm just saying I don't know the facts, are. but in my brain, you're <laughs> like no gorge facts, the you first are. in No Gorge history. You yeah. are the first like trans actress pioneering the movement of inclusivity. Like 100%. One well, of them, at least, I know for certain. So, what are your thoughts on that? Cis men playing a trans woman. Or any of that. Like, like vice versa, too. Because I remember Scarlett Johansson got cast in that role and everyone like freaked out yes and then they chopped her i don't really listen well, there's such few trans parts and so many really yeah. good trans actors yeah that which should automatically go to a trans person when you're I at the agree. bottom of the totem pole and and we are as a community and it just shows right now how we can't go pee in 10 states that's insane. You know what I mean? You're so legally allowed to get murdered in some yes. states. It's self-defense. It's crazy. It's really crazy. So yeah, no, th these yeah, parts yeah. should not be played by cishet people. Yeah. Like for instance, <clears throat> I really, really loved the Danish girl. It oh, like yeah. moved me to pieces, but it Amazing. there was something that really bothered me about it not being cast to one of. I mean, I have so many friends who are actresses. I'm like, Hardy yeah. Neff could have done that. I like, know. come on, like, right? It would have been. It was such a beautifully produced film and I don't want to say it takes away but it just kind of sucks Yeah, that it, it wasn't it a trans away. none of those movies I was even called for called for on none of those auditions and I know I might have been a different part or older or whatever you know but when I auditioned and I got on Dirty Sexy no one knew what to do with me I tried to get an agent I had one of the top three agencies tell me that they couldn't take me on because their other clients wouldn't understand taking on a trans person. What? I mean, it was like, it was oh like suddenly God. I was famous. I was number two on IMDb at one point. Wow. Oh my God. And then, but I couldn't get an agent. Mm -hmm. And we're experiencing it now. And it's just like, it's, I think it is like what we were talking about earlier, how there's like a resurgence of, we were going on this great trajectory and now there's a, a pushback. There's a stop. Yeah. There's, there's a, a, there's a pause. There's very a pause. Yeah. And we're all here like I want to ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah. Like come on. Don't yeah. start concerning my way. Yeah. I like and I was talking to Mick. I was like, "Oh, there's not enough room at the table. Well, we'll just see who eats." Yeah. Won't we? <laughs> when you got your roles and even just in life, like how did everyone in the production actually treat you? Was everyone like treating you with like respect or was it very like, "Oh god, this is our like diversity <laughs> hire coming in, everyone." <laughs> like <laughs> Gird your, gird your loins. Gird I don't even know loins. if diversity <laughs> hire was a term even I know, back then. Like, what it the wasn't term is back even then. Just... I mean, talk a, a little bit about this in disclosure. But oh my god, oh my disclosure god. was you so were so good. good. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen Candace in disclosure on it's Netflix, like, oh my god, like Amazing. all, uh, it's such an important conversation that yeah. you guys were having. On that. It was. It was, was it a limited series or a documentary? It was a documentary. Was a documentary. Yeah. So amazing. Amazing. And, amazing. And I had this. I was talking about this first time that I was like in Hollywood, and I had done this part, and they wanted to do the the trope of like the before picture of me, and I'm like, I don't have before pictures of me. Burned them all. Oh and my so god. And so they lined up a, a lineup of extras that were just there doing background. And they said, okay, this is going to be the before. And so they like said to one guy, oh, you would be perfect. And he's like, no, I'm not going to lend my face to her. Oh, and the director was like, well, then you can leave my set. Oh, and it was the first time in so long that I felt like I had an, an ally. Yeah. Because you're in this and yeah. you're alone and people are misgendering you and like doing all this stuff. But you're like. And I'm I'm meeting with the producer and the writer because like I I got drowned in a toilet yes but I originally was going to be drowned standing up to pee and I said no we wouldn't do that so can we change it and they're like sure you'll drown in a, to <laughs> a toilet good for you good in a little swirl, yeah. <laughs> swirl in good for you but that's so, true people I think when they write trans roles it's like you guys don't know what you're talking about it's such a nuanced life experience well, from and now child from we childhood. have all these trans writers. Yeah including myself yes that can do these parts justice but um you know back then it was the wild wild west and that was only 15 years ago so it's so important to have 
yeah. trans writers behind the scenes in front of the camera as well. Yeah. And we're getting there. I think any everybody in the industry knows now if you will have a trans story, there has to be trans writers on, you know, in the Thanks writing room. Well, I can't wait for you to get your little trans narrative script, uh, scripted <laughs> moment. I know. I was just talking about it today. I was like, I think I want to get into that a little bit. Like, I would love to take this, like, trans, like, I just would love to play up, not play up, but I would love to, like, lean into this trans guy moment a little bit more. Like, before yeah, when I started should. drag, I was, like, did drag because it was kind of just an easy way to put all my artistry in one place, mm -hmm. and I wasn't on hormones or anything, so it was just, like, whatever. Yeah. And then now that I can, like, fully, like, grow a beard and, like, have the body oh and, like, gosh. all this stuff, I'm like, well, I'm pissed I have to shave today. <laughs> no. Like, I've never gotten to, like, That's grow amazing. out my facial hair and, like, work out at the gym and, like, turn it because I'm like well I work full time as a woman yeah <laughs> no it's so funny the so I'm pissed the favorite joke you've ever said to me is like well I can't even have a guy over what am I going to say oh don't mind me that just that's for when I dress up as a girl oh yeah like, like <laughs> when I have like trade over or something there's a wig I'm like don't mind my crazy roommate yeah. she's crazy <laughs> she's a crazy lady yeah, yeah. or like what else am I supposed to say be honest and be like don't mind my wigs that's just you know when I dress up like a girl during the day like <laughs> psycho they're going to be like um <laughs> ew well, like because this I'm already like 90% of the time like their first trans experience yeah. and like uh, it's like a moment for like they're like they're already freaking out or something and then I have like dresses I'm like sorry I didn't mind the archive <laughs> like girl what he's gonna your, run for the hills what is your type oh my gosh you know anything we were just that's talking that, about this you don't have one I'm pretty open I always say actually when Very I very open when I transitioned I started identifying as pansexual mm -hmm. because I was just I mean I've only really been with guys for the most part and then I transitioned and I was like who am I to like fully cut off a gender it's yeah. so crazy to me because I'm like right. someone there's like people out there that would just like cut off dating me and they could be like my soulmate just because of like how I was born and then who am I to be like I connect with like a girl one day or something and I'm like no sorry like yeah. no like I connect I just... with a girl one day or <laughs> something <laughs> that's how I think there's hope out mind. there ladies <laughs> you never know so I'm just like I identify that way but I think I'm, I'm very pansexual so I just need them to be a gorgeous artist or something I like to like they have to have a job they have I have to love what they do and they have to be funny there's like a guy recently it. that came into your life actually that you I think have a huge no! crush on yes no! we have to talk about it there is a guy, he's an artist, you were like his art, and he turned you out, apparently. Oh, wow. And he's been a re- And Mick brought him to the bar to meet me. And he's never done that to any oh other God. man ever. It's getting serious. No, it's not. It's not serious. <laughs> that is serious for you. you? I didn't have this white face, but I would be blushing. B? What is your type? I like Latino men a lot. She's a dick lover. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically, if you get hard for me, I'm good. <laughs> Which is an issue a lot of times from, from what I've heard. I can be very I'm intimidating. Kidding. I can be very intimidating. No, I mean, I right now I'm in house mode. Like, yeah. the only thing, I don't give a fuck about anybody or anything. I'm just like, let me get my sanctuary up and running. And if you build it, they will come. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. a lot. If you build it, they'll come. <laughs> I'm, dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not worried about men right now at all. Not yeah, my yeah, focus. What's your type? <laughs> You're like, rich. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Truly. Yeah, at this point, I've always, like, gone for guys that just because, like, they're hot. But, like, I realize that that's how I am. No. I realize. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm using that one. Because yeah. really. no, I was like, that's what I usually yeah. do too. It doesn't work out. No, it doesn't work out. I I I make my own living, so I don't need a rich man. Right. But um, but yeah, no, I have a couple of lovers. Ooh. See, that's the level I want to be. It's the way to go. It's, good. it's the way to go. A couple times a month, <gasps> I have nights and. You know, full like dinner and like, like jacuzzi. See, you're the goal. We love a jacuzzi. No, you're the goal. Like, yeah, and you have a gorgeous night, and then they leave, and then you can sleep. Yes, <laughs> you know yes. I mean? yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. That yes, is yes. the issue too. I think even if I fully get married, I'm like, we have different bedrooms. Totally, right? like half for different sure. houses. You're in the guest houses. house, babe. Yes. Like, get in the yeah. back. Yeah. I would rather have like two or three nights a month where it's like full intense, like connection yes. with someone. Then a bunch of like get in your way, you know, like oh, yeah. he's farting, here in the breathing. morning making <laughs> yeah. coffee. Like, oh, well, I have to go. And then the worst is when you say you have to go, and they're like, okay, I'll see you soon. And they want to stay or something. I'm like, that was you, like, my like, vibe to get you out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like my therapist. I just got a therapist, and he's like, what's your like? Where do you see yourself? And I'm like, gorgeous house, gorgeous career, multiple lovers in my bed. Like, da -da -da -da. I'm like, 
Candace is living what I just <laughs> told my therapist the other my goals. I'm like, okay, all I'm missing is the garden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah truly. How has like dating as a trans person been for you? Have you ever like because I know personally right now, I know. I, Can like, you right, actually help I, Nick? I, I need like <laughs> I like I go ahead and ask Candace all the trans yeah, shit no, because I truly he'll talk, I'm like, babe, I don't know what which to tell is, you. I know everyone I was telling Candace before, like she obviously the icon of life and we're friends, but <laughs> I was like, We need Candace on literally in a week or I will die because I was just Going through it and Violet, like, I try know, to help as much as I can, as she can, but it's just like she doesn't get it. So she was like, We need some trans and angels. Like, maybe, I'm like, some, is an icon. Like, maybe somebody who has some experience um, with this. Yeah, stuff. I don't know. Oh I just, God. I think I'm like such like an overthinker in my life. And I just, like, when I'm dating someone, I'm like, Okay, are they just like wanting that one like experience or like something? So I'm overthinking that. And then also, even with like, surgeries and stuff i'm like oh i need all this stuff and i need to like like have a like, bottom surgery or I, I won't be happy and then i like sit back and think about it. i'm like is society telling me that i need all these things and to treat yeah. men like this and think this way or am i actually feeling that and it's right. so hard to navigate and yeah, i keep is. going back back and forth and i just end up in a breakdown yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy you know it's like there's so many mixed messages um, and for us, there's really no playbook. Yeah. So we don't have some like, you know, something saying, oh, you should be doing this now. You should do that. You have to just go on your feeling. Meeting people is hard as it is. And then you add the trans in this of it all in there. And there is this societal pressure on the people that are transamorous to not be open about who they are. And that's a shame. Yeah. Yes. And so that is just going to be something across we bear for the rest of our lives. hundred percent. And it's same with drag though. There I are, mean, it's, it's not the exact same, but there are it's parallels. It's not the same thing. Nope. I mean, there's a there's internalized parallels. homophobia within the gay community and I hide 100%. the drag and I, it's hard for me. I'm yeah. like, I'm fucking there's one of the most internalized... famous cross dressers in the world. Like <laughs> how And they're like, Oh, you like do that. I'm like, yeah, There's just like an I internalized do. misogyny yeah. across the board for yeah. everything. Like I think it's a it's hard for a lot of trans guys to break in the industry because like you're assigned female at birth and so you're just kind of like taught to be quiet and because you're like b like raised female and so it's just like taught all these like misogynistic ways yeah and then you yeah. can grow a beard and they're just like oh I'm stealth like period get me out of here yeah. and live my life and then I think trans women get like enter this space and then all of a sudden are just like being hit with this misogyny so hard yeah and it's just and then it's in all drag, interconnected and then in drag it's like yeah. within the community it's like this is the craziest like oh my internalized God, homophobia i mean i even have it like, when i see a guy with painted nails i'm like no <laughs> sissy yeah <laughs> and then i'm i'm like i'm like, no like, I'm like, no I'm like wait no. a second i'm doing the thing that they do to me yeah, yeah. fuck it got me yeah, i'm yeah. like it got society. me like, <laughs> it's crazy and yeah navigating it is just like you said it's just like there's no playbook and that's why it's so hard sometimes because i'm like there is no one i mean of course i can call you or, yeah. or like whatever but it's just like there's no answer i just want to say that like the life that we were given is not for the faint of heart mm -hmm. but that also entitles us to really take on the magical being epithet you mm -hmm. know and who we are uh, is rare and needed in this world. You can be depressed and things are not going to work out all the time. And especially if you're trans, things don't a lot work out a lot. But if you're honest with yourself and the people around you and you're, you're truly who you are, things will work out. You'll be okay. You know, that's my only... I believe that. My family is like very, they like love me so much, but they just like don't understand like the transness of it all at yeah. all. They just never even had the vocabulary for it. Like growing up, I never even like heard gay. It was not even a thing. Yeah. So trans, see you later. So they're trying to wrap their heads around. And then the first time they ever kind of even were starting to get it was the I Am Kate show that you were on. Okay, yes. Yes, and they like loved Caitlin Pryor on the Olympics and were into it. And then I think like seeing a like more Republican person portray that, they were like down to listen or something, which right. is side note, like rude. But it's important but, though. Yeah, to have but it is. So they were like, Oh, I can relate different perspectives. We are the same, like we understand or whatever. So they were like watching it and listening for the first time and then I remember seeing you on it. I remember all the rumors that Candace Kane was dating Caitlyn Jenner. God, it's so crazy. <laughs> Do you remember everyone it was yeah. like the 
internet was like, they're dating. <laughs> it was crazy. Well, and of course, Caitlin was just going with it. Yes, of you course. know, kissing me on, in one episode. And I'm like, okay, whoa. Yeah. Wait, so that wasn't real? You weren't dating? No. Oh my God. Breaking news. <laughs> I thought there was at least something. People, say, people say we're dating. Yeah, but. And we might be. And we might. And, you know, I always say, girl, we have we joint bank accounts. We did a little like, house together. Yeah, yeah, we're one. No, I'm literally like we're the, one, the like, attic. I'm like, party. you're painted. This is your room, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we're one like party away from being fully married. We just need the party and it's done. And a little piece of paper. Yeah. I just think they wanted to put Caitlyn in some sort of box. And of course, I was this, you know, tall, blonde, sexy woman shell, yeah. by yeah. her side. And so then it was like, oh, you know. But, the um, narrative made uh, sense to the producer. Exactly. Right. Well, and and the media more. Oh right. You know what they I mean. They pushed that. But then, unfortunately, for the show and for Caitlyn, there was the election going on that year when we oh. did season. We did up a, a season two, and so we were on a bus. It was Hillary versus Trump, and we were just at each other's throats because there was six trans women and five of them were liberal Democrats, and one was watching Fox News every single day. Oh, my gosh. So she kind of became a part of the cult, you know, Mm -hmm. because there's that cult mentality that Fox News people have. My father's in it. My my parents are in that, too. I'm like, Mm -hmm. you, I can hear the I mean, I have conservative friends, and I've debated with conservative Republican friends, but, but... Starting then, it was a new level. Right. It was that MAGA level that, like, yeah. intense. The tense. It, it's a. It was really new. I've never politically seen anything like uh, anything that. like it. And of course, we all thought Hillary was going to win, and we, I, we were Gag. <laughs> devastated. Oh my Gag. god! Craziest thing. I couldn't, I couldn't believe, believe it. Yeah, he, yeah, I was, I was like, like the, no. the Apprentice guy. Yeah, I was like, I was like, this is a joke. I think I was more depressed for my parents because and my mother I could feel her soul hurting when that happened because it was like, we're finally gonna have a female president. Finally, right? Representation matters. I don't think matters. people realize how the much impact. better this world would be if every Look leader was female. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I mean, th- there's so much misogyny and so, and just you Russia can see and it all now. these things you that were it. just look, like look stacked we're up. I know. It's like these yeah. men's egos. Yeah. It's insane. It's, it's insane. Crazy. And then it affects the entire world. It really and does. We all have to deal with it. And yeah. It's out of control. So yeah, after that, I mean, Caitlin and I, you know, it was just kind of hard. It was just sad because that show really did change. It put the word trans on the lips of the world. Yeah, really. people who had never heard that word before. Yeah, absolutely. So yes. it did good. I'm really proud of being on that right. show. I really am. Absolutely. My parents like seeing Caitlyn be a Republican. I think it opened their mind. There up are benefits so much more totally. as opposed to it was just like she was just like full liberal, just out there making a new show. My parents would not have been the same. So it's like we kind of need those little steps. That's stone a good way of learning. I never but, thought of it like that. But Republican. Is not Republican anymore. Right. It's hey, MAGA. It's it's it's, it's, cu- a it's a cult right. now. Yeah. So yes, your parents are Republican, right. and you have like they're they're learning and they're understanding, and you can have you can have debates with about taxes and uh, right. immigration, and but but this is like human rights. It's human rights, which, which is yeah. like yeah. you can't. Can we just get to the human rights part of it, and then say. we can talk about the taxes? Yeah, yeah we'll like, get we'll get into like little debates about certain like small business thing or like whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, I have to stop and be like, we cannot even talk about anything that anything I have to has tell to my do dad with that, that too. I'm about, like, yeah, let's just tackle human until rights. We're all equal. Yeah. Because it's about human rights at this point. It's yeah. not yeah. about like military spending, babe. It's about, but they don't, they don't have to deal with that aspect of it. So they don't give a fuck. Right. And that's the right. whole point. And they don't even see it. My dad, I'm like, dad, these people would literally, have me burned the stake yeah. and you don't yeah. even that's not even a thought that crosses your head because you're talking about you're thinking about military spending yeah. and taxes because yeah. like, yeah. you don't have to worry about this Job. kind of shit no it's true it's, and it kind of breaks tr- my heart because I, I, I love Kate, Caitlin and I have such a fun time with her when that's not happening not on the table That not, that's not on the table but yeah. she really makes it on the table well yeah and, and also- she brings it up and talks about it so I just kind of like 
girl, you do you. I'm going to do me. You have to. And she'll talk about it in like, she knows like the clickbaity ways. Like she'll be like, here we go. Like no trans people in sports. Like she'll be like, knows how to hit it. And I'm like, whoa, Gorge. Like, yeah, just don't do it. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to break away. Yeah, which for, for the better. It's for the better. For the better, for yeah. sure. My hope is that the the world, especially this year, comes sees something to come together a little bit and and just really get back on the track that we were going. I know. Before. I think so too. Let's hope. What can we do to make like? I'm like, do I we mean, do? I mean, I think it's like we do. We launch saying. a foundation, Candace. Yeah. Like, what do we <laughs> yes. do? Like, let's get us back on the right track. I mean, I always think we, it's, we're really doing great there. People for a always minute. are yeah. like, how is it? I'm just like one person or whatever. But it's like tale as old as time. It's like just takes us keeping on keeping on and just yeah. keeping up what we're keeping doing on. and keep like fighting taking and just space being us. And yeah taking up space yeah and being proud of who we are me saying that after having I a breakdown know. like literally this morning and being like <laughs> just be you like, <laughs> <shut up. laughs> crazy but it's true <laughs> just taking up space because we're not going anywhere so. well it's hard right. but we have to be resilient that's yeah. the the takeaway that I always have to come back to. It's the resilience. You're not I always say like we I own as much of this world as you do. Yes. yes. The space. It's just as much for me as it it's is for just you. for as and that goes Octavia for every Laurent. single person. Yes, honey. But I love you guys so much. Yeah, we love you so much. We it's like a, love you. I'm a therapy so session today for this episode. I'm so happy you asked me to be a part of it. And, I know. And thank yeah. you so much for being here and just being so you and so happy and just a light in this world. And so thank you for being a trailblazer yeah. and for thank fighting you. and being resilient and all of those things we've, we just talked about. I mean, you're a prime example of all of those things. And yeah, I'm, I think it's safe to say like the community at whole would not be the same without Candace Kane and it, honey. Oh so my God. thank you for being here and shit. fighting the way you did. We love you. I love you too. Thank you, Candace, for being here. And thank you guys out there for watching this episode of No Gorge. Yes. We'll see you next week. No Gorge.